This is Ron from Super 8 to Video. In this video, I'm going to show how to strengthen the clutch in a pro machine or any machine that uses these motors instead of the belts. This motor is the motor that I would highly suspect is your problem as opposed to the clutch, so double check. These newer motors are in the pro machine and in most of the other machines. That smaller motor was only used for a little while and I would highly suspect that is your problem, not the clutch. This video is meant as a companion video because I showed how to adjust the clutch in an older belt driven machine. In these newer machines there is very little adjustment that can be done but there is a little bit and we can only adjust it with one washer instead of two washers like we did in the belt driven machines. So if your machine is giving you this trouble, double check that it is a clutch because these newer clutches I have a lot of faith in. I will be showing this adjustment on a pro machine, but all the other motor driven machines are exactly the same except the back cover has seven screws instead of six screws like on the pro machine. Also if you take your back off and you see a belt I have left a link below on how to adjust it on the belt driven machines. Before you take your clutch apart, make sure it actually is a clutch problem because I have a lot of faith in the newer machine's clutches. Double check that this little slit here isn't doing something like you got a reel like this and this side is supposed to grab that but the film got ran in to where you're putting it on like this and it's not really engaging in that until you push it all the way in which can be hard to do on these reels and that it's not something really simple like that that is actually the problem and not the clutch itself. Place the machine face down and remove these six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. I suggest using a magnetic screwdriver because it makes it easy to pull it out of those holes. Then Remove the back cover. There are going to be six more screws we're going to remove. I've already loosened them because you don't need to see me unscrew a bunch of screws, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once those screws are removed, just move this out of the way you don't have to disconnect any wires whatsoever. You don't have to worry about how these gears lined up. Then pull this clutch out. This C-clip is going to have to be removed and one right back here that has to be removed. What I use to do that is a push pin. When you go to remove these little clips, do it in a bucket. I'm doing it out of a bucket to show you how it is done, but the C-clip is very easy to lose. Take your pen. There's a little gap right up under here. I got lucky. I see that thing because it's on a piece of white paper. Then, this just pulls off. It's a little bit hard, but this gear pulls off. And now there's another clip right in here that needs to be removed. Once that's done, this just comes out. There's another C-clip here, but we don't need to remove that one. From this point, we're going to put one washer, which is going to go here. This is going to go on top. When we tighten these two screws down, it's going to push that spring just a teeny bit forward. Remember, we don't have much room, but it'll give us just enough to strengthen the clutch. 
You don't want to lose these C-clips. They are unique to this product and would be hard to replace. Make sure both when you're taking them off and putting them back on that you do it in a bucket so that when you have them fall, you can easily find them. This washer is the perfect washer for what we're doing. Its center hole is perfect, its outside diameter is perfect, and its thickness. This inside diameter goes around this C-clip right here just perfectly. Its outside diameter fits in here perfectly and centers itself and its thickness is taken up by a little bit of an indentation that sticks out here otherwise it would be too thick and push too hard on this spring and push it up against this metal piece right here. So this washer is very special for what we're doing. I will leave an Amazon affiliate link for you, plus I'm going to leave you the dimensions, so if you want to see if you can get it at a hardware store, if you want to study these dimensions, hit your space bar. That will pause the video. Hit your space bar again, and it will resume play. We're going to assemble the clutch. First, put the washer right here, then take this, put him on like that, spinning. There's going to be a gap here as we push with our finger here that allows this C-clip to fit in there. To pick them up, I find it best to wet your finger. Once you get him on there loosely, I find I can just take my finger and push on it really hard and it slips in for this first one. This shaft has a flat spot and this has a flat spot in it that matches up and this little piece that sticks out here goes in like this. It's a little bit hard to push him on but push him on until he hits back there. Notice when I put this gear on there's a gap between where the C-clip goes and that gear, we want to take up that gap to help us align that C-clip properly. Then take your wet finger, put him like that. If you can, get it with your fingernail. If you can't, do it with the screwdriver, and there it goes. Now your clutch is assembled. You should be able to grab this gear and spin this gray part. On this Pro Machine, I took out a total of 12 screws. On the other machines, there is a 13th screw, one more for the back cover. On all the other machines, they were exactly identical to each other. But on this Pro machine, this screw and this screw were a little bit longer than all the others. This longer screw goes right here and here. It makes no difference whether the clutch goes this way or you spin it 180 degrees and put it in this way. If you have the longer screws, put them in the clutch. Make sure you tighten the clutch down first. Then we put the motor in. You will find when you get these screws lined up, this gear takes care of itself then put the back cover on, put the six screws in the back cover, and you are finished. There was nothing wrong with the clutch in my Pro Machine. Like I said, I did this as a companion video because I showed how to strengthen the clutch in my older belt-driven machine, which had gotten weak. However, 
Whenever I strengthened this clutch, I was actually very surprised how much that little bit really did tighten the clutch up, possibly even too much. I have continued to use it with the stiffer clutch and haven't had any problems. You know the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Make sure before you strengthen your clutch that it really is a clutch problem. This is Ron from Super 8 to Video signing off.